What is up you wonderful people? Today I'm gonna to teach you how to reframe your horizontal video to vertical video in Video Leap using keyframes. Let's get started. Quick little explanation. We're here, we're at home, we're self-quarantining, social distancing. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're safe. But something I've been doing throughout this whole time is documenting. And the thing is, when I'm documenting, I don't know whether this is gonna be something for Instagram or whether it's gonna be for YouTube or whether it's just gonna be for archival purposes, future video, for whatever reason. Hands down, it is best to know where you're planning to post something before you shoot it so that you can record in the proper format for that thing. But in the case that you don't know, it's best to shoot horizontal. Because in my opinion, it's much easier to reframe horizontal to vertical than it is to reframe vertical down to horizontal. Just a quick filmmaking tip, let's dive into this. Earlier, my wife Amber was gonna cut up some pineapple. I was like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna make a little sequence out of this, that, that looks fun. I shot the whole thing horizontal, and then I realized I wanna put this on Instagram. So, what do I do? What we're gonna do is we're gonna reframe it into vertical using Video Leap, and they've made it very easy to do so. Even when the reframing and the keyframing gets more complex, it's very easy in the app. I'm gonna take you through four slightly different shots that require different keyframing, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll be a master at this, and you're gonna be able to do this for whatever you need to do it for. All right, I'm gonna open up Video Leap, bring in these four clips. As I said, they all require their own sort of keyframing. Let's go in order from least complex to most complex. So that one is very complex because the camera's moving and the subject is moving. Here, the camera's locked down as it is here. So the camera's gonna be locked down for the first three shots and then the last shot, I'm gonna show you how to do this when the subject's moving. It just requires more keyframes. First things first, we're gonna go into our canvas here, bring up format, and turn that into nine by 16. So that takes us to vertical, you know, that's gonna work on Instagram, TikTok, wherever you're posting. Then when you come back here on these clips, select a clip, go to transform, and instead of fit, which is what it's currently on, change that to fill. You're gonna do that for each clip. Once you've got them all on fill, you can see that sometimes the action's inside the frame and sometimes it's not, and that's why we're gonna reframe these things. Clip number one, super simple. She starts over here, she's grabbing this pineapple, and then by the end of the clip, she sets it down next to the cutting board. What we're gonna do is where we want the motion to start, which I like it to start right as she starts moving in that direction. We're gonna bring the playhead there and then add a keyframe right down here in the bottom right hand corner. So we basically just told Video Leap, stay there until this point. Now we're gonna move to the end and then let's go ahead and just move that clip Using the haptic feedback, you can see, you can also see the red line appear when we have it perfectly centered in the frame vertically. That'll, that'll give you a bit of a guide. Just simple as that. If you look at that, if we play it back. So, we've got our beginning and end. It looks like she doesn't move quite as quickly in the beginning as she does at the end, though. So, let's go ahead here and instead of letting that pineapple get out of frame at the beginning there. Let's add another keyframe here. Put that right there. Let's play that back. All right, first clip is done. You can see how simple it is, just you keep the action that you want in the frame in the frame. Similar, she's moving from just slightly off frame, so this is gonna be a minor adjustment over onto the cutting board, and then she picks up the knife. So it'll pretty much end right here. Like, that that's a good looking frame right now. Move this over to start, because we want to be centered on the pineapple. I'm gonna start the motion right here, throw a keyframe on. Once it gets over to there, and she stops moving the pineapple, that's when I want the motion to stop as well. Let's take a look at that. All right, so for this clip, I want to, it's, you know, it's a little bit off center. Let's throw the, the pineapple being cut right in the center of the frame to start. And then she gets done cutting the pineapple, she scoops it up, and then starts to move over there. Right there where she starts to move is where I'm going to add the keyframe because that's when I want the motion to start. 
There, she ends the move. Let's add another keyframe. Or you could have just moved the video over and it would have added the keyframe for you. Great. Okay, our final shot, which is really early on in the sequence, but it's most complex because I'm moving with the camera as Amber's moving with the knife when she went to grab it from the, uh, from the knife rack there. So let's start it. Start it over here on the nut with the knife centered. And then by the time we get here, the frame just doesn't make any sense anymore. So let's let's lead it a little bit here. Add a keyframe right there. When do we want this motion to start? Let's add it right here. Go and just go ahead and tap on that keyframe. That'll take the playhead right to there. And let's reposition, see what this looks like. It starts to work well. What we're gonna have to do is just do some micro adjustments. So once we get uh, just a couple frames past, let's reposition the frame again. Now we're tracking the knife, so that looks good. When it comes to that, when there's when you're moving the camera and the subject is moving, you might just need to add more micro adjustments, but it can get jittery if you're doing it too close frame by frame, but really just test it out. If you ever need to delete one of these keyframes, if you've gone too far, if you've, if you've done too much, just tap on it and then go down and hit that same where you added it, you can remove them the same way there. I'm gonna undo that because I like this move that we got here, so we're tracking her over. That's it, I'll show you the final sequence. I hope that that helps. I hope that you're documenting this time. I hope that you're staying safe, doing well. Thanks so much for being here. Subscribe for more videos like this. Let's keep making stuff.